make a cake on the margarita. We're gonna make it spicy with some different elements to kind of change up that classic margarita taste. We are going to start with muddled fruit. They feel like the more fruit you muddle, the better it tastes. So just a couple limes, a little orange. I cut up some habanero peppers and you want them to be thicker. That way it doesn't come up through your straw or while you're sipping it. So when you muddle it, we're just gonna like gently give it a muddle. I like to have anything kind of casual. So I would say like sandwiches, pizza, burgers. You could really have it with whatever you're having, but it is spicy, so you would want to keep that in mind. So even something a little bit sweeter would be good. We're gonna pack some ice in there. I like to build everything in a pint glass. I find that everything should get a nice shape. Tequila. We're using the Herodur Reposado. I think right now it's been my favorite for a couple years now. So we'll do almost three ounces of that. Very small splash of Cointreau. This is where the classic is gonna kind of get out of the way. I'm going to splash just a really small amount of pineapple juice, like a drop. We do make our own sour here, so it's just fresh lemon, lime, and oranges pressed. We do sweeten it lightly. We'll do that. Now for the shake. Ooh. Now, depending on how you like your drink, some people don't like any muddled fruit in their drink, so if you were like that, you would put fresh ice in here and strain it out. I personally love muddled fruit in my drink. I feel like it makes it more flavorful and it tastes better. So we're just gonna put that right in here. When we're making margaritas and doing something a little different, I've been adding like a very small splash of red wine right on top. And it's just gonna give it like an earthy element to go with that habanero, that, that like sour, that pineapple, and it looks super beautiful. Depending on your space level, you really could put another little habanero in there. But yeah, I made this because I kind of wanted to taste it all over again. So, let me see. Super spicy, not too sweet, but it has your same margarita components. You're gonna have that sour, that lemon, that lime that everyone's looking for. For someone who's looking for a margarita or something that's a little bit different, I think this would be a little more elevated.